Hi there! Do you want to check out some unexplainable phenomena and mysterious events people witness? Sure you do! <laughs> Let's go! Hmm… Imagine constantly hearing a humming sound that no one can trace. If you do hear it, you're among 4% of the world's population. The hum is described as a low-frequency noise that feels almost like a vibration. It's just on the threshold of human hearing. People hear it less clearly when they're outside, and it gets louder indoors, especially at night. Imagine you're in the comfort of your bed, but you keep hearing the hum. Once you hear it, you can't unhear it. Ooh, scary. So how and when did it start? The earliest cases were recorded in Bristol, UK, and they date back to the mid-1970s. Many other cases were reported from across the country and the rest of the world, too. Scientists have a lot of theories explaining this phenomenon. The humming could be produced by waves moving across the ocean floor. They shake Earth when colliding with continental shelves. Or this might happen because of volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. Others believe that the sound can be related to lightning strikes that hit the Earth. These strikes create a huge electromagnetic charge. What about low-frequency radio signals used to communicate with submarines or 5G? Well, no one knows for sure. Oh, one other wacky theory suggests that the Earth hums because it doesn't know the words. You know, to the song, never mind. Do you know what lives in the ocean's twilight zone? Oceans are the source of life, and they cover more than 70% of the planet's surface. Yet more than 80% of our ocean is unmapped and unexplored, including the twilight zone. You dive deeper into the ocean. The farther you go, the less sunlight gets through. Although the area is mostly unexplored, scientists know that it has a rich biodiversity, like a world of its own. Organisms such as microscopic bacteria and tiny animals live there. You can also find fish, squid, and other kinds of gelatinous animals. Ooh, squishy! These creatures are accustomed to living at such depths, so international laws say that people shouldn't pull them up to the surface. This may harm them and the entire ecosystem. When scientists examine animals living in the twilight zone, what they see are bizarre creatures of strange shapes. And it's understandable. They live in places where temperatures are insanely low, and the water pressure is super high. Let's get back to the surface for a while and see if the ball lightning is a real thing. It's a sphere of light you can see during a thunderstorm. In most cases, it's impossible to predict where ball lightning can show up. Plus, it usually lasts for only a few seconds. Old sources also mention the ball lightning, so this mystery has been on the agenda for centuries. In 1638, people described it as a great ball of fire, well before Jerry Lee Lewis, goodness gracious. Maybe it's because this ball can look blue, orange, or yellow. Scientists don't know the reason why it's shaped like that. What they have are theories. One scientist theorized that it could be because of standing waves of electromagnetic radiation. But this theory was criticized and wasn't approved of by many other scientists. The most common theory is related to lightning's nature in general. It's an electrical discharge caused by positive and negative imbalances within clouds or between storm clouds and the surface. Scientists say that a lightning bolt can heat the air around it to a temperature five times hotter than the surface of the sun. Ouch! The air instantly expands and vibrates, producing thunder. But this still doesn't explain why this version of lightning is ball-shaped. Now, many people have reported seeing a bizarre string of lights in the sky near Lucknow in India. They have also taken pictures and videos of these lights, so it's certainly not a hoax. The strange string of lights was moving slowly across the sky. As frequently happens with these kinds of phenomena, people suspected that other civilizations from space were visiting us. Woo woo! Some also believe that these could be the souls of people. Scientists put an end to all these discussions on social media. It turns out that the luminous dots were the Starlink 51 satellite train. Now, the next mystery is jelly-like drops falling from the sky. Imagine having a quiet morning outside in the garden. At one point, it starts raining. But instead of raindrops, globs of gelatinous goo hit the ground. This is what happened in Oakville, Washington in the summer of 1994. Over the next three weeks, the same phenomenon occurred five more times. 
people in the area reported jello-like translucent blobs. But there's more. After these rains, people started getting sick and having flu-like symptoms. Experts examined the samples and found two types of bacteria in the Oakville blobs. Interestingly, there are no remaining samples of the blobs, not even in the Washington Department of Health. This incident never occurred again. It's still a mystery why it happened in the first place. The next one is fairy rings. Their cooler name is elf rings. This phenomenon got this nickname from fungi that form a perfect circle. So why do these circles occur? There are legends and tales about fairy rings in different countries. For instance, in English and Celtic folklore, as the name suggested, fairies or elves dance in a circle and create these rings. Now we know that an individual fungus grows under the surface and sprouts many small threads in the shape of a circle. One year passes and voila! The mushrooms come to the surface to create an elf ring. Interestingly, at first, these circles are small, but they get larger as the fungus ages. The next mystery is related to a fish. It looks ordinary at first sight. This fish swims in the sea and uses its gills for breathing, just like other fish do. But it hides one mystery. Unlike other fish, the grunion can breathe on dry land, too. These creatures come out of the water to reproduce. You can see this process several nights after the new and full moons when high tides are higher than normal from March to August. High tide takes the fish onto beaches. There, females dig out holes in the sand with their tails. Then males curl around them to fertilize the eggs. This only takes 30 seconds, and then they both return to the water. The eggs? Yeah, they remain hidden in the sand. In 10-14 to 14 days, tiny fish get back into the sea. The new or full moon rises the tide, and the waves wash the eggs back into the water. The waves not only move the young fish back home, but they also crack the protective membrane of their eggs. Now, have you ever heard of the Tree of Life? No, not the Terrence Malick film. It's a real tree in Bahrain. They named the tree this way because it grows in the desert. The tree is surrounded by sand, but it doesn't stop it from reaching 32 feet in height and living 400 years. The mystery is where it finds water and other nutrients. There is no other vegetation for miles around. So apparently, this tree species can adapt to the arid conditions of the desert quite well. They manage to survive thanks to their deep root systems. Roots go deep underground and reach groundwater. A huge green tree with healthy green leaves on a small sandy hill is worth seeing. So the area has become a local tourist attraction, visited by approximately 50,000 tourists every year. Gut feelings, a sixth sense or intuition, name it however you want. When you think about it, you might realize that it's unclear how it works. How come we can predict or simply know some stuff? Psychologists started wondering the same thing. They studied this topic and concluded that we tend to subconsciously pick up information about the world around us. So we do have the necessary info, but we can't point out the source. If your intuition tells you to watch more Bright Side videos, I think you should do what it says, don't you think? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.